Hi, my name is Dr. Faraz Harsini, and I'm a biomedical and food system scientist. I'm here to receive an award, Philip Wallen Award, for my animal advocacy work, and also to give a lot of talks in universities such as this one. In my talks and presentations, I generally make a connection between animal consumption and big problems in the world, such as pandemics, antibiotic resistance, climate change, and a big part of my talks is also dedicated to showing the reality behind the scenes of industries that exploit animals for profit. So today it was really good for me to be here because a lot of students were finance and marketing students and I really wanted to show them how animal industries basically advertise consuming animal products, but the truth is it's causing a lot of health problems such as cardiovascular diseases, diabetes, cancer. It causes a lot of public health issues such as pandemics, zoonotic diseases, and most importantly, millions of animals have to needlessly be killed every single day, and it doesn't have to be this way. So it was really good for me to have this discussion today with students, show them how they can use their skills to actually make this world a kinder place where animals no longer have to needlessly be exploited. I got here actually last night uh, to India. It's my first time, so this was my first talk in India, and I was very impressed by students. They were very engaged. Uh, it was a very large room. They uh, asked really qu good questions, and again, I love that their background was marketing and finance. So I actually asked them, what do you think is the driving motivation behind all the businesses that sell animal products such as meat, egg, dairy, and they already got it, you know, it was mo basically making profit. So yeah, today we talked about the impact of animal consumption, meat, egg, and dairy on human health, on public health issues, as well as the reality behind the scenes of meat, egg, and dairy. So it was very engaging. I showed them a video. They were very engaged. I could see that everyone was really influenced by seeing the reality. And I asked them, who here loves animals? A lot of people raised their hands. Everyone agreed that this is not how things should be. And so my goal was really basically telling the students that if they are against what happens to animals, the best thing they can do is to go vegan. And the second best thing they can do is to use their careers to advocate for justice. I ask students, do you think what happens to animals is fair? Do you think what we do to our health, to public health is fair? And everyone said no. So yeah, I think there was a common agreement that the best thing we can do is to be vegan and not be a part of this and then use our careers and anything in our power really to advocate for justice and fairness. I also really wanna uh, thank the deans, a lot of other professors who were so welcoming and hosted me with a lot of kindness. So I love my experience here and I look forward to be back. And again, thank you so much for having me. This place was awesome and I could see how much professors and the dean really cared about increasing the knowledge and understanding of students. What we talked about today is not an easy topic. It's something that a lot of people actively don't want to deal with. So I love the openness and encouragement for students to learn more and for having me here.